Well, g'day guys, <clears throat> CZ here. Today, I'm going to be brewing the Devil Bird IPA. And uh, Mr. Vic Bitter, who I'll be doing this collaborative brew with, um, he'll be brewing it almost pretty much at the same time, all the way over in Sydney, and I'm here in South Australia. So how awesome is that? This is the very first one-on-one -on -one collaborative brew that I've ever done with Vic. It's been a long time coming. I'll just show you the ingredients, all right? So basically, all up in the whole recipe, I'll go through the process soon as I'm brewing it up. We have one and a half kilos of light drama extract. We have a Cooper's Real Ale tin. We're only gonna be using uh, 500 grams of dextrose. Um, we're going to be steeping 250 grams of carapils for head retention. We're gonna be using one wolf lock tablet and the hop heroes in this are um, Mandarina Bavaria and El Dorado, but we'll also be using a little bit of Pride of Ringwood at the at the beginning boil stage um, for um, for some just some extra bitterness. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's all the ingredients, but there's a secret little ingredient down here, um, and this is. Juice of one lemon, juice of three mandarins, and the zest of three mandarins and one lemon. And that's been sitting in a solution with 500 mils of water uh, for 24 hours with a quarter of one Camden tablet, just to sanitise everything. And this here is going to be going into my rat trap over there, into the brew just before I pitch the yeast. And I'll be brewing this up with my USO5 uh, reused yeast, which will today, once I do this brew, it'll be the 23rd time. Okay. Alright guys, so what we have here is we have 6 litres of water. And I've brought it to the boil. And I've then, once it's reached the boil, I've turned the flame off. And I've put in 250 grams of carapils. And that's going to be steeping for exactly 30 minutes. Now, just to give you some background, and the reason why this is uh, called the Devil Bird IPA, well, I'll start from the beginning, I suppose. Um, I've been wanting to do a collaborative brew with Vic one-on-one -on -one for quite some time. Uh, he was the very first guy that I actually spoke with on Skype. He's been a close friend for a long time, and uh, for years we spoke about doing a collaborative brew. Um, and originally it was going to be a bitter you know, because his name's Vic Bitter, so we thought we'd make a bitter. We never got around to doing it. Um, stars never aligned, I suppose, um, the way that we wanted it to, and we were busy doing lots of other, you know, joint collaborative brews and things like that, our own little projects. Um, <clears throat> and then this year, um, we kind of, you know, said that we're definitely going to have to do the brew. And then I think one day on a Skype call, I said, what about the Devil Bird IPA? That, you know, that sounds like a good name we could make an IPA together. Um, now, the reason why I wanted to use the, um, you know, the term Devil Bird IPA is because where Vic lives in Sydney, there's this bird which isn't native to Australia. Um, it's called a Coel. It migrates over from Indonesia um, a couple of times a year, I think, or something like that. And uh, they're pretty horrendous birds. Um, they're black, devil kind of red eyes. And they make a horrible noise, which hopefully you heard in the intro. Um, now, you hear that maybe once a year, maybe it, it's not too bad. But um, as Vic has um, informed me, as well as his brother, they make that calling sound from 1am in the morning through to 7am non-stop. And um, yeah, hence the uh, crosshairs over the um, bird in the logo. Not that I'm advocating shooting birds, but um, obviously it gets to the point where you just have enough um, and uh, I thought what what better name for an IPA but the story doesn't end there guys anyone who knows me knows that I love origins to beers I love putting a story in the beer I think it makes it a little bit more exciting um, and fun to be a part of and uh, as you saw in the logo there's um, mandarins and oranges uh, sorry mandarins and lemons and um, the reason why we're using that um, because we want to obviously create a really flavor bomb um, but uh, the other reason is that um, Vic has uh, 
has a lemon and a mandarin tree in his backyard and let's just say that he has used those fruits as ammunition on many occasion to uh, scare off the birds so I thought what better adjunct to put into a devil bird IPA than the projectiles that are used to scare them off so you've got the we've got the uh, rind of one lemon juice of one lemon um, uh, or the zest of one lemon juice of one lemon and uh, the zest of three mandarins and the juice of three mandarins and we're also using mandarina bavaria hop which has a real nice mandarin flavor and aroma quality to it so hopefully this beer is just going to come out fantastic so um, this is I'm really looking forward to this guys this is a long time coming me and Vic have uh, um, learnt a lot along the way with making this recipe um, Vic had had so much input into this beer and I, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that this beer makes him proud because this beer the way that I'm looking at it is less about me and more about Vic you know he's a great friend and he deserves a good collaborative beer so yeah this should be good see you soon all right guys so it's been 30 minutes steeping now I'm gonna sparge it with approximately two liters of boiling water Okay guys, now that that's sparged, I'm going to put in 700 grams of light dry malt extract. Mix that around. Right guys, so it's reached a little bit of a boil there. All right, so first hop addition, seven grams, seven grams of Pride of Ringwood. Here we go. Guys, so it's the 15 minute mark, and we're going to be putting in seven grams of El Dorado and 15 grams of Mandarina Bavaria. Here we go. Oh, that's hot. All right, guys, it's the 10 minute mark and we are putting in 15 grams of Mandarina Breveria. All right, there we go. And also one full Wolflock tablet. All right, guys, so it's flame out. Just put this hop sock up here, let it sit on there for a little bit. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to add 10 grams of El Dorado and 60 grams of Mandarina Bavaria, okay? For the flame out. All right, All right guys, so I've let the um, hops just sit in there for a little bit, the, uh, the um, the flame out additions, the Mandarina, Bavaria, and the El Dorado. And now I'm going to be putting in 500 grams of dextrose and the rest of my malt. So, all up, guys, this recipe has 1.5 kilos of light dromod extract. All right, guys, so now we're going to add the tin. tin of Cooper's Real Ale, which is a really nice tin because it has like a little bit of residual sweetness, just a little bit, a really nice flavoursome malt backbone. Alright guys, so I've filled it up to just below 20 litres. Um, now, got this important part. All right. The reason why I filled it up to just below 20 litres is because I need to put the uh, juice and the zest in. Okay, so I'll see if I can hopefully show you guys that. Well, hopefully this works. Come on.
Alright, so in this goes. Alright guys, here we go. Got the yeast. Decent amount of it there. Alright, pouring it in. And we're going to ferment this at about 19 degrees, or roughly thereabouts. G'day guys, it's day 9 of primary fermentation, and I am dry hopping this bad boy with 20 grams of El Dorado hops. Here we go. There we go. Awesome. See you at the tasting. G'day guys, please like, subscribe and share if you like, and uh, yeah, stay easy.